great sportsmanship displayed by Team Canada at the Olympic Games makes us all proud. Too bad not everyone here at home shares that spirit. In particular, those parents who are so ferociously competitive at their kids' hockey games, they scream at the referees and get into fights. Much has been done to point out what a terrible example they set for our kids. But as Francis Silvaggio reports, many parents still aren't getting the message. On the ice, hockey is a game that has helped define our nation, a source of Canadian pride. But in the stands, sometimes, there's little to be proud of. Certainly, um, you know, there, there's, there's definitely problems do occur on the rink, even at young ages. As a result, the Ontario Minor Hockey Association is taking a stand. Beginning next season, one person from every family in the league must take a one-hour online respect and sport course. We understand that most of the parents, you know, really overwhelmingly, you know, are, are, are great. They're supporting their kids, they're supporting uh, their associations, their leagues. Um, so, you know, we recognize that, but, but there's an element of it. You know, I, I think we can always strive to be better. It's uh, not just about... Uh you know, focusing on bad parents. It's about giving the 98% of uh, parents the tools to be better. Former NHLer Sheldon Kennedy helped introduce the program that was first adopted by Hockey Calgary nearly three years ago. Since then, awareness has increased, but the actual number of parent disciplinary hearings has only dropped 10 to 15%. Would we like to see it at zero? You bet. I mean, I would love to not have to go in, or the, the Game and Conduct Committee would not like to have a hearing with parents uh, on weekly or monthly basis, but um, it's moving in the right direction. Take that puck! Take that puck! Our whole goal was to create a platform for conversation to happen and a standard among or organizations to create clarity. Some leagues, though, are still reluctant. The Greater Toronto Hockey Association voted against the program. You're really going after 2 or 3%. And uh, I guess my question would be, can you ever change them? Maybe not all of them, but more and more parents say trying something is better than doing nothing at all. There still needs to be some uh, bar set, and the parents need to know what it is. For participating leagues, the Respect in Sport program is mandatory. If a parent refuses to take it, their child will not be allowed to play. Francis Silvaggio, Global News, Calgary.